Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Danyan's Gaming. My name is of course Danyan and welcome to another Beastmaster Hunter PvP duel kind of video thingy outside Stormwind in the Legion Alpha. In the European servers it's actually quite deserted, which is ridiculous. Um, the footage I have here is like seven, maybe eight fights, I didn't really count, but there are quite a couple of classes I go against, I even lose against a ridiculously overpowered Demon Hunter, it's absolutely insane, you have to see it. He does a bad shit ton of damage. Um, but these servers are completely deserted. Every time I log in, there's only maybe one or two players. Even today, over the entire day, not more than 46 people have logged in on the European servers. On the on at least this PvP one. Maybe the other one where you can actually level and do the quest. Maybe a lot more people are interested in that. But this is, by the way, the ridiculous overpowered Demon Hunter. I do make a mistake that I actually didn't drink it. I was like, yeah, I've... Did not have that much trouble against Havoc uh, Demon Hunters as well. And I do believe they had a second stun. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to wait for that stun. And then all of a sudden, holy shit, what happened to my HP? I panicked and I died. Like, what the fuck? I could have healed. I could have um, used the uh, um, turtle uh, thingy. I forgot the name. My, my apologies. But I made a mistake there. But at least that guy really figured out how to play a Demon Hunter. It is interesting to see that people are beginning to learn... Their PvP specs. Every time I duel, I I feel that I'm getting progress, progressively getting better, but also definitely other people are getting better. They are learning their abilities more, so I like that. Um, people are really, really getting into it. But what I don't like is that once again the absolute service, or the servers are absolutely deserted. There is no one here. Even the battleground queues go up to seven to ten minutes. Now, that to me, for a testing phase, <laughs> that is ridiculous. That should be bam, instant. I don't mind waiting one minute. You know, maybe two even, but for a testing phase, waiting seven to ten minutes is just absolutely ludicrous, meaning there is absolutely no one playing. I have not tried Horde side, however. Maybe that's something I will do. Um, I always like to go with one theme, you know, alliance characters and all that kind of stuff. Um, but maybe the Horde side will be better. I will definitely try that. In this video, you will see a couple of classes I have not dueled before. So you will see how they perform as an Affliction Warlock. There is a Demonology Warlock. Um, there's an Unholy Death Knight, an Arms Warrior, and Huntsman Shaman. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just, you know, another view on how Beastmaster Hunter performs at this current build against other specs. Mind you, I'm not a pro PvP player. Um, I'm just been around for a very long time and been playing Hunter for quite some time so that I know the basics around and I definitely, and I say that again, I can definitely kite. If you can kite, it is a tremendous advantage. Uh, especially with con Conquest of Shot, uh, it's being on a 5 second duration with a... Uh, no, it's on a 5 second cooldown with a 6 second duration, which is absolutely insane. You don't even need fro uh, frozen ammo so that you actually have a different ability that you can use. Now that people are getting more into it, getting their abilities more, knowing the class more. I do have to say that when fights are getting prolonged, you do need the talent that when your Dire Beast hits that you regenerate focus. If not, you will be focus starved. And that is tremendously disadvantaged because you will you will be auto shotting for well basically the entirety of the fight at the end. And I have encountered in this build, you see that here and at one point I switched around and I did not have problems with that anymore. Um, there are some really interesting mechanics and I do believe that Beastmaster at the end is going to be ridiculously overpowered because there are two, two talents in the game um, that go along be uh, Bestial Wrath very much so that when you, you have a 25% chance that your dire beast is reset it and whenever, with every pad out you do 5% more damage on your Cobra shot. Now, on, I'm not sure, but PvP talent 7 or 8, don't pin, don't pin me on this, and it could always change even, um, the cooldown of Bestial Wrath is actually reduced by 30 seconds. So that is some pretty insane shenanigans right there, because every time you use Dire Beast, the cooldown of your Bestial Wrath is reduced by 20 seconds. The burst potential in there is quite severe, and I'm already doing quite well. I'm not even level 2 yet. Level 2 gives you a haste buff. Um, which increases the attack speed of your pets and you, so that's pretty nice. Nothing game-breaking, but still, you know, it's a nice extra buff. As I said, since the queue times are so ridiculously long, 
and I do want to make more videos about different classes and I still want to do all the artifacts. I'm not sure how far I'm actually going to level because I also want to do different classes. Um, you know, I want to take a look at Restoration Druids um, because yesterday in the PvP video, Restoration Druid actually seemed quite interesting. Restoration Druid on live is already pretty tough but in this build. Yeah, I saw Tarn Druid running around with five people on him and he was just, you know, spamming heals and he was just like, like typing slash lol and he could not be killed. Obviously, everything is suspected to change, but the core abilities are already in the game and all that is needed to be done is tweaking around. So, so if you have a spec, anything else, let me know in the comments and I will definitely take that up. This is most likely the last... Um, yeah, this is the last... Fight. As you can see here, I am actually focus staffed. As you can see here, I cannot spam, I cannot do anything. And because I cannot do that, this fight got dragged on tremendously. I was able to kite him, so I did win, but yeah. Anyway, guys, that was it for this little video. Hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, I will see you next time. I'm going to wave at the, uh, the, uh, yeah, at the microphone, because, you know, I always wave. So don't call me retarded, but anyway... Hope you like this video and see you.